But first, new sanctions against Iran over trying to interfere with our election. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan. And I'm Jamison Euler. It comes one day after national security officials announced Iran and Russia took actions to influence public opinion around our election. Our Haley Bull is learning more about these efforts and the steps you can take to prevent spreading the wrong information. One of the toughest things to battle, the Pasco County Supervisor of Elections says, is misinformation. Our cyber posture is quite secure. I'm very comfortable with all the measures we've taken and my colleagues. But one of the, the an avenue that's yet to be corralled because we can't control it is misinformation, mainly through social media. Each day they field calls and try to provide clarity for voters. What I tell voters is be very careful on social media because, you know, if you share something or like something or retweet something, um, there's a high likelihood it originated in, in you know, by a nefarious state state actors. Just this week, intelligence officials announced Iran and Russia got a hold of voter registration information, which can be used to try to spread false information. These actions are desperate attempts by desperate adversaries. Security officials warned Thursday Iranian hackers are creating fictitious media sites and that Russian hackers conducted a campaign against U.S. targets, taking data from at least two servers. Officials say so far they, quote, have no evidence to date that integrity of elections data has been compromised. You need to understand and get your information from a reputable source. Stacey Arruda is a retired FBI agent and CEO of the Arruda Group, a risk management firm with cybersecurity expertise. She says disinformation is nothing new. I would have to say that the absolute best intelligence service at this are the Russians. They just about invented it. They live it. It's ingrained in them. They are the best at disinformation. On voter info? A lot of that information is, is available in the public realm. So bad guys are going out there, scraping that information, putting it together and selling it to other bad guys. So let's just continue business as usual and do what we do as a country and vote. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.